My name is Fiona Gunt, Private First Class, U.S. Army Marines. I come from a long line of Gunts. We are a proud people, a warlike people. Your play, the Seagull, is a play rife with warlike potential, a seething underbelly of violence. This is how you snap a man's neck. From shoulder to knee. From shoulder to knee, please. Feel the snap. Feel it. It gives you power. It gives you a stronger. I want you to release your animal cry. The cry of the seagull. Even so. My warbirds were taking flight, but as their seagull warlord, I had to display a show of strength. I decided to challenge the gunt herself. Obviously, I went a little bit too fast for some of you. Greg, are you all right? I can't feel anything, but it hurts. After about a week in the hospital, I was ready to resume my work with the cast. In my book, I wrote that I once said, the human body is an actor, and I believe me. And how do we train that actor human body? First, you read chapter six, body, body, everybody. Then you learn how to move. I hired a renowned movement instructor called Queen, just Queen. Turned out, she was the queen of the damned. Faster! Faster! Greg, I don't like this. My life. There's no escape. It's all gonna be eaten by life! <laughs> you want to eat? Then open your fucking mouth! Open it! You fat director! A circle? A circle? It's a triangle! You look like a camel! You look like a camel! One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, ha, ha, ha! Six, seven, eight, one, two, too late! Too late. Was too late! One, two, three, too late! Don't stand so close to me all the time! Shh. Relax! Just relax! You think you're so beautiful, aren't you? But you're fat! Hello, welcome. My name is Angel Garland. I just want you all to know that yesterday I broke up with my long-term boyfriend of four months, Ryan. I thought we were going to get married and that I was going to bear his children. He just wanted to give me chlamydia and vanish. Yes, yeah, whatever feels good, whatever feels good. Remember, this is, it's not yoga, really. It's, it's yoga, All right? It's for you, great. We had never experienced anything quite like this before. Angel had a way of bringing the best out in everyone. Uh, profound gentleness that made you feel at home. I'm not a superstitious man by trade, but I felt a cosmic connection with Angel, like we somehow became one. But as Angel would have said, everything is fleeting. And so I knew we would eventually have to say goodbye. Uh... holier than any book on earth. What shall we do with it? <gasps> we break it down!
so we can digest it. Arcadina, bandit, thief, liar, fraud, bad cook. He is making sweet love to your wedding dress and you can do nothing about it. A Bedouin approaches you on a camel. What's he holding? A candy cane. But then you realize it's not a lake at all that's devouring you. It's not a lake. It's a fat man. You know that perfume, don't you? That's your mother's perfume. You're on top of your mother's head. Ching, 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 ching. It's turning into rats. Every piece turns into a rat that attacks you. And you run from the rats, but you can't run from them. They're glued to you. The phoenix will rise again. The seagull will rise again. Wolves! They're wolves! Wolves are chasing you! You're being attacked by wolves, ferocious, ferocious wolves. They turn to daisies. They're still chasing after you, though. They have teeth as well, but they're daisies. You're confused. You've hit rock bottom. A waiter taps you on the shoulder. What's your order, miss? What could be your order, miss? What's your order, miss? What's your order, miss? You ordered the beef bourguignon. You don't want that baby, and that baby doesn't want you. Good night, baby. Good night. Good night. Attention, blocking, blocking. Come and get it. Cross, you cross over this goal. way. The black headed go. Hands behind the back. Go. The head head down. Go. The little you uncross your legs. Recross go. your legs. And the mild Look back. Uh, squat, echo. Spit. Echoes, Oh my ew! No, don't show me. Tell me what you're doing. So I am currently uh, looking out of the window. Use no gestures. I want to hear it from words. Currently looking out of the window at the Battle of the Somme and then turning vigorously to face my son with which I would like to engage in some form of Russian oral sex. The words are right, the action's wrong. Every line should be delivered to the audience. Because they're the only people who exist. But when the production happens, the audience is dead. I'm talking specifically about the two big orbs on your chest. You're not using them at all. No, you're ig ignoring them. I'm not ignoring them. You're not ignoring them. You're ignoring them. You want me to They're your biggest them? assets on this stage, and you're ignoring them. Like a, like a bird, deep and wide? No, like don't look at them. Your lungs will stay there, but you've got to use them. We don't breathe out in theater. We feel out. You breathe the breath in, and it creates the emotion, and the emotion comes out. No breath. Like a captive in a birdcage, deep and void, I know not where I am, nor what awaits me. One thing only is not hidden from me. I am destined to be victorious in the end, but this can only come to pass when millennia have gone by, and even the great moon and sun have turned to dust. Until that hour, oh, horror, horror, horror! Here we are at opening night eve and just minutes before our final dress rehearsal. You know, we've come a long way. A long journey down a dusty, dusty path with trees and barbs and little stones getting caught in our shoes and things. Now, as Mama Bird, <laughs> I've been mushing up worms for several weeks now and 
It's time for me to kick the baby birds out of the nest and watch them fly or fall to their deaths. In honor of the hurdles that we've already overcome, we're going to go through this obstacle course one by one as a last rite of passage. Take your time with this. Let it be as spiritual as it is physical. I love you, Greg.